visit svgcuts.com slash blog for tons of free SVGs, video tutorials, inspirational ideas, and the lowest price on Sure Cuts A Lot software. The Cricut must be installed in order to be recognized by Sure Cuts A Lot. Before connecting the Cricut to your computer, you'll need to visit craftedge.com to download the USB driver. Open up a web browser and navigate to craftedge.com. At the top of the page, click on the Downloads link. And scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on the link that says Download the USB driver. Scroll down to step 6 where you'll see a link that says download them here. Go ahead and click. And by doing so, we're presented with the file download screen. You'll want to hit save. You don't want to open or run. Let's go ahead and hit save. And when asked to specify the location to save to, let's put it on the desktop. You can put it into another folder, but for this, I'm going to recommend you place it on the desktop. Go ahead and hit save. You can close this window and then you can close your web browser. As you'll notice, on the desktop we've got the driver in a zip format. To unzip it, go ahead and double click on the file and click on the Extract All Files button. The Extraction Wizard appears and we're going to click on Next. The Extraction Wizard asks us where we want to extract these files to. We don't need to specify anything, we can click on Next. It's going to place it right on the desktop. Okay, and then we can click on finish, and there it is. It shows us our extracted files. I'm going to go ahead and close this window, and I'm going to close this window as well. Now you'll notice that we have two folders on the desktop, and they're both named the same thing. One is the original zip file, and one is the extracted version that contains the drivers that we're going to need to install the Cricut. Go ahead and delete, or right click and click delete, the zip file. We don't need that anymore. Okay, now we're ready to plug in and turn on the Cricut. Okay, as soon as I turned it on, Windows said it found new hardware. And it asks, can Windows connect to Windows Update to search for the software? Click no, not this time, and hit next. Okay, it says this wizard will help you install software for USB to serial. And I'm going to click on install from a list or specific location and click next. Next, we're going to check the box that's labeled Include This Location in the Search. We're going to uncheck Search Removable Media. And then we're going to click on Browse. Scroll down until you see the folder and hit the plus sign next to the CDM underscore 2.02.04 folder. And then highlight the CDM 2.02.04 WHQL certified folder and click OK. And now click Next. Okay, it says, completing the found new hardware wizard, the wizard had finished installing the software for a USB serial converter. Click Finish. Okay, Windows found new hardware again. This time click No. Hit Next. And once again, we're going to click Install from a list or specific location and click Next. And the location is already specified there for me. If it's not, you can click on Browse and you can highlight that folder again and click OK. Make sure to uncheck the Search Removable Media option and click Next. Okay, the wizard has finished installing the software for USB serial port. Click Finish. Let's take a look at the Windows Device Manager to make sure that the installation completed properly. Click on Start, and then right click on My Computer and go to Properties. Click on the Hardware tab, and then click on the Device Manager button. In the Device Manager, scroll down to the Universal Serial Bus Controllers option, hit the plus sign, and you should see the USB Serial Converter option listed. This indicates that the Cricut is installed properly. Go ahead and close that window, close the System Properties window, and at this point, this folder that's on the desktop, we can drag that into the trash. We don't need that anymore.